Hi Rasslers, welcome back to my channel. It's fabulous to have you here. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel by clicking the subscribe box and the bell to be notified of all my big jealous hound videos I do. In this video I'm going to be chit chatting about arcade games and doing my top 10 games by this fabulous book that I got. And it gives you obviously the top 10 arcade games and I thought it would be cool to chit chat to you guys about my thoughts on arcade games and your thoughts on arcade games so if there's anything you want to put in the comment box and get involved in this little video and let me know what your thoughts on all the things we talk about because it's cool to have your opinion so if you like this kind of video do get a thumbs up so i know and let's get geeky and discuss the games so obviously arcade games were games that you could pay by just putting money into a little arcade box thing before you were able to get your own console games and handheld games didn't exist. So the top one of all time was Pac-Man and it was released in 1980 so Pac-Man was the little um, thing what goes along and eats all the bits and the ghosts follow him around and he used to play it on the little joystick thing where you control it just by using that and it reminds you of, I don't know if you've seen the film Racket Ralph because that quite a lot of these games are going back into, they're coming around again aren't they, they're getting redeveloped and they're shown in films as well and stuff because it reminds you of Pixels, the film and Racket Ralph with a little Pac-Man, anyway let's get back to the subject. So that was the first number one of the arcade games. So Pac-Man, apparently the Pac-Man game has been 30 spin-offs of the sequels since the originally 1980 arcade machine version which includes the classic Miss Pac-Man, Professor Pac-Man, and even Baby Pac-Man. <laughs> Aww, that's quite cool. So it's had a few spin-offs from it also. I do like Pac-Man. Obviously it gets a bit boring every time, and like they said, they have done some newer versions that you can now get it on the mobile app, can't you? And just play it on your phone. Number two is Space Invaders. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this one. So that was 1978 that came around. So that's the second of the top arcade games of Space Invaders. I did remember playing this on my old, I don't think I played it on actual arcade, I had it on my old, old game where you had to go obviously back and forth and just shoot down the little aliens before they came down and got you. It's very simple like it would be going back then but the aim of the game was trying to get rid of all these aliens before they came and got you and it just moved like back and forth over the screen over and over and over and you just have to like shoot up the whole thing <laughs> started with the game very simple but effective so number three is Street Fighter 2 all versions so 1991 I don't know if you ever played Street Fighter but I used to love it when I was younger I don't know why I loved it so much but I think I just as it went on it did add more like extras to the game didn't it you could like have stretch arm, um, I don't know what his name, it wasn't Armstrong, but you could like zoom out and have really stretchy arms and then you could do this thing when it, when like little fire things came out of your pans and then you could do like moves and chuck them over your head and it's kapow when you'd like obviously get them and you, it was two players so you could play against someone with it, what always more fun isn't it because it's like more competitive. So here yeah, Street Fighter 2, they originally Capcom arcade machine Street Fighter was released in 1987. The sequel entered arcades in 1991 and first became the most famous fighting video game of all time. In its first four years, Street Fighter took over $2 billion. Wow. But well, it's funny because when you look back on graphics now, they seem really lame, don't they? But of course, at back at that time when you're playing them, you didn't think like you thought it was amazing because it was. In that time and that era that you didn't know any different really. So number four Donkey Kong but I think this is talking about you know the Donkey Kong where you have a little uh, it's a platform game and he has to go up the ladders go along and there's like barrels being chucked at you and you have to try and jump over them and stuff. Uh, Donkey Kong was created by a Japanese designer in 1981 uh, which marks its first ever appearance on Mario who had to dodge the barrels thrown by Angry Gorilla to save the princess. So that one was more or less it's kind of same layout, you have to jump up, go up the, the little ladders and try not get in the way of the barrels getting knocked out of the way. So number five is Miss Pac-Man. I don't think I've ever played Miss Pac-Man. I 
do think I know what she looks like, but I don't remember ever playing it. So that was 1982. So okay. So no, I don't remember that one that much. Yeah. Like I say, do put in your comments, any comments you want to comment, any of these games or things that you want to discuss. Uh, number six, Asteroids. Astronauts, 1979 Astronauts. Which one was Astronauts? I, I can't think of the top of my head which one was Astronauts was. Probably if I saw it now, I think. Because I thought I'd just go through the list and I didn't want to research before, I wanted to see if I could straight away see what the games were, but Astronauts. I take it to Space One, of course. It might be more or less the same as Space Invaders, maybe. Number seven is Defender. I don't know if I know that one either. And then number eight, Centipede. 1981 oh, again. Not sure on that one either. Well, these ones lower down on this, I'm not even sure what they are. Number nine, Galaxy Stadium. It was 1979, Galaxy Stadium. Oh, I bet if I saw these, because I did like play market games, I don't know what they are, but just by the name I can't even think what they are. Number 10, Donkey Kong Jr. So I twist again on Donkey Kong, but Jr. one. So 1982 that was released. So that was my little chit chat on arcade video games. If there's any other arcade video games you do want to put in their list, then do put in the comment box and we can discuss about them. And if you like this kind of game, okay, if you like this kind of video, do give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell to be notified of all my fabulous videos I do. And give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of game, game, I keep saying game, kind of a video, talk about chit chat and about gaming stuff because then it lets me know that you like this kind of thing. And see you guys later and keep gaming!